Ever wondered why some people are more analytical and reserved than others? Could this be a sign of a type C personality? Type C personalities, intriguing and complex, are often characterized by a high degree of detail orientation and a reserved demeanor. These individuals tend to be analytical thinkers, their minds constantly whirring with thoughts and ideas. They approach situations methodically, preferring to dissect problems piece by piece to reach a logical conclusion. This analytical nature is an asset, allowing them to navigate complex situations with precision and skill, but their reserved nature is equally defining. They may appear aloof or detached, preferring the company of their own thoughts to social interactions. This isn't to say they're antisocial, far from it. They simply appreciate solitude and the space to process their thoughts in peace. Identifying a type C personality can be the first step towards understanding their behavior and the dynamics in relationships with them. Did you know that analytical thinking can sometimes be a tool for manipulation? It's true, especially in the hands of a type C narcissist. These individuals are known for their detail-oriented, logical approach to life, which, while admirable in many contexts, can also become a means of control. In relationships, particularly with women, a type C narcissist may use their analytical prowess to manipulate situations and conversations. They may twist facts, use logical fallacies, or overanalyze to confuse or belittle their partner. The end goal is generally about maintaining control and asserting superiority. For instance, they might use their analytical skills to pick apart a partner's arguments, focusing on minute details to distract from the larger issue at hand. Or perhaps they might leverage their ability to think logically to invalidate their partner's feelings, arguing that emotions aren't rational and therefore aren't valid. Understanding this manipulation tactic can help women protect themselves in relationships with type C narcissists. How does the emotional expression of type C personalities affect their relationships? This is a question that many struggle to answer. The emotional expression in type C personalities is not as straightforward as in other types. They are often reserved, keeping their feelings under wraps. This can create a significant challenge in their interpersonal dynamics. Imagine having a conversation with someone who rarely shows their emotions. It's like trying to decipher a code without a key. There's a constant guessing game, trying to understand what they're feeling or thinking. This lack of emotional transparency can lead to misunderstandings and conflicts, straining relationships. Moreover, the analytical nature of type C personalities can sometimes overshadow their emotional side. They tend to approach situations logically, often suppressing their feelings. This can make it difficult for them to express their emotions openly, creating a barrier in their interpersonal connections. Recognizing these challenges can help navigate relationships with type C individuals more effectively. Can the reserved nature of type C personalities lead to passive aggressive behaviors? This question often arises when dissecting the dynamics of relationships with type C narcissists. The answer, unfortunately, is yes. Type C personalities, known for their reserved and analytical nature, can sometimes resort to passive aggressive behaviors as a form of emotional expression. This may manifest as subtle digs, silent treatments, or the infamous nothing's wrong response, even when there's clearly a problem. In relationships, this can create a tense atmosphere, making it difficult for partners to address issues openly and honestly. Over time, this can lead to frustration and misunderstanding, causing the relationship to become strained. It's important to remember that passive aggressiveness is a form of manipulation, used to maintain control without direct confrontation. By recognizing these behaviors as they occur, you can better understand the dynamics at play. Identifying these behaviors can be a crucial step in managing relationships with type C narcissists. What signs of covert narcissism might be hidden under the surface of analytical thinking? This question takes us to the heart of the matter. Within the analytical mind of a type C personality, narcissism can lurk subtly. This covert narcissism isn't as flamboyant as its overt counterpart, but it's just as damaging. It hides behind a mask of rationality and logic, making it harder to identify. The first sign is a sense of superiority masked as intellectual prowess. The individual may believe their analytical thinking makes them superior, dismissing others' opinions or feelings as irrational or irrelevant. Secondly, a lack of empathy. 
Despite their ability to dissect situations logically, covert narcissists struggle to recognize or validate others' emotions. Lastly, they may use their analytical skills to manipulate situations to their advantage, subtly controlling others under the guise of rationality. Recognizing these covert traits can empower women to make informed decisions in their relationships. Let's dive deeper into setting boundaries with such personalities in our next segment. How can women set clear boundaries in relationships with type C narcissists? This is a question many may grapple with. The first step is recognizing the necessity of boundaries. They're not an option, but a necessity for healthy interaction. The key is to be firm and assertive. Clearly express your expectations and limits. Remember, it's not about being confrontational, but standing your ground. The type C narcissist's analytical nature may lead them to question or negotiate these boundaries. However, standing firm in your decisions is crucial. Another strategy is to ensure your emotional well-being. If you feel manipulated or overwhelmed, take a step back. It's okay to put your mental health first. Lastly, reinforce your boundaries. It's not enough to set them once. They need to be reinforced consistently, making it clear that they're non-negotiable. Establishing boundaries is a crucial part of maintaining a healthy relationship with a type C narcissist. Remember, your well-being should never be compromised. What communication challenges arise from the reserve nature of type C personalities? Let's dive into it. Type C personalities tend to be analytical, detail-oriented, and reserved, which can make communication a bit of a challenge. Their tendency to keep emotions bottled up can lead to a lack of emotional expression, making it hard for others to gauge their feelings or understand their thoughts. Furthermore, their deeply reflective nature often makes them prefer solitude, which can come across as aloofness or indifference, causing misunderstandings. In a relationship, these traits can lead to feelings of disconnect and frustration for the other party who may crave more open and emotionally expressive communication. The reserved nature of type C personalities can often leave their partners guessing, feeling unsure of where they stand or what's going on in their partner's head. Understanding these challenges can help improve communication in relationships with type C individuals. What are some early warning signs of covert narcissistic behaviors in type C individuals? Well, type C personalities are analytical, reserved, and often emotionally detached. This can make narcissistic behaviors less overt, but there are still signs to watch out for. One key warning sign is an excessive need for admiration often disguised as requiring frequent validation for their analytical thoughts and ideas. Another red flag is a lack of empathy, manifested as an inability to understand or share the emotions of others, which can be particularly challenging in a relationship. Type C narcissists may also exhibit a sense of entitlement, expecting special treatment due to their perceived intellectual superiority. This can often lead to passive-aggressive behaviors when they feel their needs aren't being met. Furthermore, they may subtly belittle others' ideas or achievements, often under the guise of constructive criticism or analytical thinking. Recognizing these signs can help women make informed decisions about their relationships. How can women cultivate emotional resilience when dealing with narcissistic traits in analytical type C personalities? That's the question we're addressing now. Emotional resilience, the ability to adapt to stressful situations or crises, is crucial when interacting with type C narcissists. It's about maintaining balance in your life despite the challenges you may encounter. One effective tool is self-care. Regular exercise, healthy eating, and adequate sleep are essential for maintaining emotional and mental well-being. Another tool is mindfulness. By staying present and focused, you can prevent yourself from becoming overwhelmed by negative emotions. An affirmation of self-worth is also a powerful tool. Remember, your value does not decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. You are strong, you are capable, you are worthy of respect and kindness. Lastly, consider seeking therapy or counseling. A professional can provide you with personalized strategies to build your emotional resilience. Building emotional resilience can help women navigate relationships with type C narcissists more effectively. Why is it important for women to seek support when navigating relationships with type C narcissists? In the journey of navigating relationships with type C narcissists, seeking support is not only helpful, but often essential. These individuals are known for their analytical and reserved nature, 
which can make communication and understanding challenging. It's often hard to see the forest for the trees when you're in the thick of it. Reaching out to friends or family, people who know you well and have your best interests at heart, can offer a fresh perspective. They can provide emotional support, share their experiences, or simply lend a listening ear when you need it most. Professional support, like therapists or counselors, can also be incredibly beneficial. They provide a safe space to express feelings and thoughts, without judgment. Plus, they're equipped with strategies and tools to help manage the complexities of such relationships. Seeking support can provide valuable insights and strategies for dealing with Type C narcissists, 